Phil Steele says number 60. The AP poll says number 32. Regardless, Michigan football for the first time since 2015, unranked by either the coaches poll or the AP entering the college football season. Welcome to the Voice of College Football. Go Blue, and uh, please leave your comments below and your predictions and everything else as we run down Michigan's history in regards to where they have finished in the AP poll versus the preseason expectations as we see that Michigan, for one of the few times in this century, is unranked starting in the preseason. That would be 2021. you got to go back to 2015, Jim Harbaugh's first season, unranked preseason, 2014, 2011, 10, 9, and 8. Those the Rich Rod and early in the Brady Hoke regime. From 2000 all the way through 07, Michigan ranked in the preseason every year. So if we look at uh, 2020, this past season, of course, Michigan started at number 16. They were unranked after the 2-4 and half-season finale. In 2019, number seven preseason, the finish was number 18 after the loss to Alabama in the Citrus Bowl at nine and four. In 2018, Jim Harbaugh's team started at number 14. They finished at number 14. The big disappointment there, though, was that they appeared to be one of the best teams in college football at 10 and one before being crushed by Ohio State and then losing uh, in a big way as well in the New Year's Six Bowl game against Florida. 2017 Michigan coming off the biggest win or, or the biggest finish under Jim Harbaugh in 2016. In 2017, they started number 11 in the nation but finished unranked as they uh, collapsed down the stretch, lost to Ohio State, of course, and lost the bowl game to South Carolina after being up by a 19-3 to score in the Outback Bowl. In 2016, Jim Harbaugh's most successful season by many measurements. The team started at number seven in the country, finished at number 10 at 10 and three after losing to Ohio State and the Florida State Orange Bowl game, 33-32. There is the Jim Harbaugh first season, unranked to start, surprised everyone, 10 and three, Citrus Bowl win over Florida, 41-7, finished number 12 in the country. Then we have the abyss of Michigan football between Lloyd Carr and Jim Harbaugh. The 2014 team finished at 5-7. and seven. They were not ranked to start the season or to finish, of course. The 2013 team, that team started at number 17 in the country but went 7-6 and six and lost to Kansas State in the bowl game. 2012, number 8 to start the season, coming off the Sugar Bowl win in 2011. The 2012 team, number 8, Lost a lot of close games. This was a good football team in 2012. They barely ba uh, lost close to Ohio State 26-24, 26-21 in Columbus. Then, of course, the Outback Bowl game against South Carolina, a team that won 11 games, finished in the top five, and that was a game that went right down to the wire. Michigan finished at 8-5, number 24 in the country. 2011, that was the Sugar Bowl winning team over Virginia Tech that started the season unranked and finished number 12 in the country. The 2000, again, eight, nine, and 10 teams, all no expectations, bad teams, finished poorly, unranked versus ranked. Uh, one team went three and nine. They had a five and seven finish. They had a seven and six finish that, of course, finished off Rich Rod with a humiliating performance in the Gator Bowl, 52-14. Go back to Lloyd Carr in 07, and his final season in Ann Arbor, unfortunately, started with the Appalachian State debacle on the blocked kick, and that team was number five in the country, and, of course, uh, the biggest upset in history based on ranking, losing to an FCS team as a number five team in the country. They finished on a good note, though. Nine and four, defeating Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow in Florida in the Capital One Bowl. I didn't necessarily think this was fair that Michigan at nine and four beat Florida head to head, and they finished number 18. The Gators finished number 13 that year. The 2006 team, of course, came with an eyelash of going to the BCS Championship game, but then they lost the Rose Bowl. And uh, they started at number 14 and finished at number 8 at 11-2. and two. The 2005 team, big expectations following a Rose Bowl trip. They started at number 4 and finished unranked at 7-5 and five after losing to Ohio State 
in the final minute and then losing to Nebraska in the Alamo Bowl. 2004 was the last Big Ten championship team. That team started number eight in the country. They finished number 14, and despite the Big Ten championship, a letdown late, lost to Ohio State by double digits, then lost to Vince Young in Texas in a tremendous all-time classic Rose Bowl, 37-35. The 2003 team finished strong. They beat Ohio State to win the Big Ten Championship and go to the Rose Bowl. That team, big expectations at number four, finished number six after losing to USC by two touchdowns in the Rose Bowl. 2002, that team started number 12. They finished number nine in the country at 10-3 and and in winning a bowl game against Florida. 2001, they lost to Tennessee to finish 8-4 and four in the Citrus Bowl at number 20. They were preseason number 12 in the 2000 team at number six in the country to start the season. According to AP voters, they finished at number 11 in the country after defeating Auburn in the Citrus Bowl in a great, great football game. That's the Michigan forecast in regards to looking at the preseason AP rankings versus where they finished. If you throw out the unranked preseason teams versus the teams that also finished unranked, uh, the other 16 occurrences, Only four times did Michigan outplay the preseason ranking. The other 12 times, they underachieved. Your thoughts on Michigan football here in 2021 or your memories from the last 20 years? Right here at the Voice of College Football, Michigan.